What screams I lost the argument? When they start responding with who asked even though they started it. No one asked for your opinion. Good but you're still gonna hear it. Trying to focus on side points of yours that don't really have anything to do with the main point as a means of diversion. Or when they successfully rebut one of your supporting arguments, e.g. a bad analogy, and treat it as a total victory, even though they still haven't addressed your core argument. This is why I no longer use analogies. There is no perfect analogy. They are meant to help people see things in a different way. People who aren't arguing in good faith don't care about that. When they go completely off topic well I don't like your username. Well I don't like your mom. Brew my mom signed me up for soccer in first grade. And then every year after that. I was good at it. I hated it. Eventually my mom made me try out for the travel team, and I made the cut. She made me keep playing year after year until high school, where she made me try out for the school team. It was three-day tryouts. I kept trying to do bad, but they called me back for the second day anyway. And then they called me back for the last day, and I just ended up skipping the tryouts and joining back with everyone at the end for when she came to pick me up. Getting that phone call that I did in fact not make the team was simply amazing. Never played another game of soccer since then. I said that to my daughter a couple weeks ago. In fairness, I'm trying to lead by example in handling our emotions. She asked me what was wrong, and I gave a 30-second synopsis of my day at work and ended with I've really just needed to cry for hours. She looked at me and said that's okay. Cry if you need to. I laughed and said I guess I'll go cry now. It was nice. My mom will hit me with great, I really needed this today. One time she did it over something stupid, but it was on my birthday, and getting to clap back with that was one of the most cathartic moments in my goddamn life. Getting my mom to say out loud, in front of my dad, that she's not willing to admit she's wrong about something because she thinks it's humiliating has been one of the greatest victories of my life. When they just start yelling shit like look at you. You know so much. Smart ass bitch. You know this is why your ex cheated. You're insufferable and loudly banging things, stomping, etc. I think you should stay away from that person. Agreed, that's horrible. When you're told that's what they want you to believe bonus points for a not well-defined they. The government. When personal attacking starts. Enjoy your ban. Some of these mods are fucking ridiculous. Edit. Holy lord this is the most upvotes I've ever gotten, guess that proves my point. Moving the goalposts and whataboutisms when someone has to try and change what an argument is about to defend it they more often than not have lost that argument. I have a right to my opinion. Of course you do, and usually at this point in the argument no one has said otherwise, but that doesn't mean your opinion is supported by evidence. Similarly, people tend to confuse being legally in the clear with being justified more broadly. I remember arguing with a friend that a particular movement was stupid, and he replied, well the same right that allows you to criticize them allows them to do it. And it's like, yeah of course they have the right to do it. That doesn't make it a smart thing to do. When the ad hominem attacks begin. Nothing says I'm out of reasonable options better than attacking somebody for their profile picture. Bringing up old arguments that have nothing to do with the current one lol. Edit, lady here. Understand that they're people, of all genders, who don't know how to have a calm, productive discussion that remains on topic. Even if you disagree just give the person time to say their piece and afterwards both of you can come to a resolution that is on topic. Forgive people because that is something that you would want from someone else. Don't keep a scoreboard of rights and wrongs.